Do you guys know Valve? They own like a small app called Steam. They also made some banger games like Portal, Half-Life, Team Fortress, Counter-Strike, Left 4 Dead, Dora. Is there anything else? Um, we, we don't talk about Artifact. Well, they made another game, Deadlock. Well, it is not really out yet. It kinda is. I don't know, like few hundred thousand players are playing it, but it is still not like accessible easily. A friend needs to invite you that owns it, so it's like, it spreads like a virus. And in this video I will be talking about Deadlock. I've already played it for like 30 plus hours, which is a lot for how long the game has been out. So yeah, I think I know what I'm talking about and from the title of the video you know that I will be talking about if this game is worth it or if it's a... Uh, Another slop like, I don't know, <coughs> Artifact Concord maybe? <laughs> Damn, what a dumpster fire, they are already turning that game off. Well, what is Deadlock? It's a MOBA, true and true. It's like 100% MOBA, you got your lines, you got your minions, your heroes, abilities, shop, you know, it's everything a MOBA has. From the looks of it, you might not tell that it's a MOBA but it is. It has some huge changes to do like MOBA type of games cause you don't have mana first things first you don't have mana in this game you just have your abilities and you can use them whenever you want only there are cooldowns on them. You can jump in this game you can like control it it controls really well I like the controls and it's in this third person like style as you can see it's funny cause a game called Smite 2 is being released in the early access as well as Deadlock. But what they did is they have put Smite 2 under a paywall. You need to pay 30 euro to play an early access of a MOBA game. So of course that game is dying fast. Like Concord, I don't know what developers are thinking when they are putting out a PvP player versus player games and they are putting the game behind the paywall. In this age, in 2024, you cannot really put PvP games behind the paywall. You really can't, because people will not buy it. There are so many free-to-play games that are better than this. There are, there are so many PvP games that are better than Smite 2 and Concord, for example. It's the same issue. There's Overwatch. Why would you play Concord? Why would you pay like 40 euro for Concord when you can play Overwatch for free? That's the biggest issue I have with this payment model. Like, I also hate battle passes and stuff like that, but I can understand that the free-to-play style of games needs to have their, like, currency, their special coins you can spend on the game to make some money. I can understand that. But that's for a really different video. This one is about the deadlock. YouTube really wants me to say this, so if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. It really does, to be honest. So, Deadlock, my beloved. After the 30 hours I've played, I tried almost all the characters. Some are really good, some are really bad. That's my first issue with this game. The balancing needs to be worked on. I feel like some characters destroy everyone and some characters like the support characters. I know that supports are not meant to be super strong. But they are also like, you cannot pick your roles now, you cannot like say, I'm gonna go tank, I'm gonna go support. And I don't really think that there will be a role pick, cause, I don't know, the game works really weird, so there are really no 100% tanks, no 100% support, I feel like everyone in this game is kinda DPS. Some heroes have like super strong stun abilities, some don't. Ultimates also like some ultimates are insanely powerful and some are kind of weak in my opinion The game is also super gimmicky. There are a lot of things to like learn about So the skill ceiling is really high to be honest You can like master all the gimmicks and be like a pro player at this game For example the melee hits into the parry you can just see it on the video like I parried the guy he died instantly and most of the people don't even know that there is a parry, you know? Another gimmick is this, what I'm doing right now. I'm sliding on the stairs, getting infinite bullets for a second, so I can just shoot more, you know? It's all these small things, but 
There's like a ton of them. I just said two. There are probably like another 10 more to go through. And this is not a deep dive into Deadlock and how it works. This is just like a big overall video about what I think about the game. And the gimmicks. There are a lot of them. There is a lot to learn. And I think that's fun. That has a lot of potential for people to improve at. To get better at. To get a better understanding. But at the same time, I feel like the sweaty game, like the pro players, man, that's gonna be so sweaty. I don't even wanna think about like the pro scene in this game. Ugh. Like usually, I like the competitive scene. I like the Overwatch competitive, uh, Rainbow Six, League of Legends even. Like I played competitives a lot in that game. But here, I feel like I like the game, but I kinda wanna just stick to casual gaming because... Man, high ranks in this game, that will be, that will be insane. Also, it's a MOBA, okay? You have the shop, you have a lot of items to go through, like, you need to learn it. And I even tried it with some of my friends that never played a MOBA in their life. And they got shit on, like, they got destroyed. I'm not saying that you should play, like, all the MOBAs before jumping into this. I think this is a really, like, welcoming MOBA. I don't think it's that difficult now, there are not that many characters and it's very forgiving. But also, don't expect to be like the best player, don't expect to be a good player at the game if you never play the MOBA, okay? You really need your aim in this game, so this will be funny because it's from Valve. So people that play Counter-Strike might jump onto this and people that play Dota might jump onto this, so... It'll be funny looking at the two sides playing against each other, you know, like... The Counter-Strike, you need aim in this game, so that's why Counter-Strike is good. But it's a MOBA, so you need to understand the MOBA style of gaming. And that's why I think this game is more oriented towards the MOBA players, you know. I think Dota players will be better than Counter-Strike players in this game. But the aim is good. The aim is really important. You need to do headshot damage in this game as well, like, there are headshots, which is also very different from other MOBAs. The big question, is this another artifact? Will this flop? I'm calling it now, no, this will not flop. There are already hundreds of thousands of players playing this game, and the game is not even accessible easily now. I love this game. I've been playing it every single day, and yeah, I can see this being big. It's a really breath of fresh air. There is another game like this, and I can see future games being inspired by it. The graphics are really nice to look at, so yeah, I really think this can be huge. I believe in Valve, let's wait and see what they can do with this game. Of course, there will be <laughs> there will be a lot of loot boxes, I believe, and there will be a lot of skins. As always, the Valve free-to-play payment model, which is working, and to be honest, as long as it's not pay-to-win, I'm fine with it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little rant on Deadlock. Tell me in the comments if you agree with me, tell me in the comments if you disagree. I just wanna see some comments to be honest. Uh, like the video, subscribe and goodbye.